I want money. Now. Money. Yeah, apparently, uh, I, I, yeah, I think I was worried if I was gonna hear him scream through the mic. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Epic Game Guru coming back at you to try to do some more game reviews here on YouTube. I know I've been lacking behind on a lot of content on YouTube recently. I can't resist but to review Lethal Company because this game is so much fun, it's so stupid good, and it's so much better to play this with friends than any other game that I've had in a good while. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and review this one through, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So although Lethal Company is a fairly new game, I'm actually very surprised to see yet another good example of how simple is better when it comes to a video game. Lethal Company may not not seem like anything special but let's be 100% honest here were we really expecting a huge indie game release out of nowhere in 2023 i wasn't what the hell was that i have no idea i increased level of radiation what the fuck uh oh Lethal Company's objectives may be simple, just as simple as picking up certain items within an area map that's RNG generated. You're gonna have to try to survive as much as you can with the rest of your crew members. If your crew members start slowly dying over time, your crew members will start to lose more and more progression as the days go by because it's gonna cost you a certain amount of money. Basically, if you don't reach 130 worth of, cr of scrap by the end of those two days, uh, we get fired by management. Oh. Great. I think it's funnier that like everyone is just has VIP employee. Yes. This game is also very key exact word sensitive, so if you're planning to go anywhere in the game, you would have to at least input the exact location with the exact name before you can even go on a voyage. Oh god. No, never mind. I'm not turning that off. So my guess is I'm the only one with a flashlight at the moment? Yep. yep. Oh god, okay, hold on a second, it's time to get to work, boys. How does your first deaths feel? Pretty fucking stupid, I jumped off the edge of a platform hoping to land and I fell to my death. Leroy! <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with some of the enemies here. Kind of crazy knowing that you have to find so much stuff around scattered all over the location. Even me just finding an axle is pretty profitable in this game. And whatever junk you can find, it's pretty much worth money to get. Ooh, hell yeah. I'm finding money, boys. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay, hang on. I'm getting lost. This place is not so easy to navigate. Okay, there we go. I see Krogan. Oh my. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Is James dead? I... I don't know. I don't hear James, I'm... I don't... Well, let's hope I don't die. Awesome. I did it. Alright, oh. I exit. This is poor fucking Krogan. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure he can figure it out. One very important little detail, or in this case one very minute important detail, is that I forgot to mention that you still have to carry all the resources you gathered back to the ship before night falls, otherwise you and your crew are guaranteed dead. To the front! Yeah, I'm carrying something, so hold on. Oh shit, we're all have to carry back. Go, 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 go. Everyone back to the ship before it gets dark. You do not want to be out here when it's dark. Depending on the circumstance, being outside at night in any of the facilities will result in different creatures trying to kill you. Although the most common ones are usually around the experiment area, there is definitely some unique ones such as a giant dying sandworm and a giant dog ready to tear you limb from limb. This game never seems to run out of ideas. We don't have too much time. After 5, that's when it starts getting freaky. Some people said it's 7 or 8, but sometimes it happens earlier. That's why I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. As you continue to play the game, you actually do get rated on most of your missions that you go through, if not all of them, resulting in a certain grade from A, S, B, C, D, or some guess case scenario that I've seen so far you can get as F. The higher you get on these grades when it comes to collecting items and getting your voyage done safely without getting a single member of your crew killed, the better the results. Wait, I thought we were already... Yeah, we're there already. We have like 200 something scrap, right? Worth the scrap? It's better to get as much extra as you can before you put turn in quota, because then you have a bunch of extra funds to grab, to buy stuff with. You're, you're in That's the right. access file, Cygird. 
Okay, this is very sketchy. Why are all the lights on? That's usually not a good sign. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, be careful! Do not get in here. I'm just gonna close that behind me. Uh, did James just get suffocated by a creature and die? Possibly. I have no idea. I just entered. I entered and uh, I heard screaming immediately. Alright, there's nothing it's in this room. Sign, isn't it? Oh god! Okay, don't go in that room. Do not go in that room. There's a turret in that room. Fucking turret room. A fucking turret. Yeah, I heard you on the fire exit, it's just that I was already like carrying it. There's going a back. bug in here. Oh. A bug? Oh, what? There's an actual bug, I don't know what the fuck it was. It looked like a bug. I ran and, and fucked There's a fire exit right here, so. Oh god, what? Oh, 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 don't, don't oh, look at it, don't, no, no, no. No, don't look at it, don't look at it. Just get to the fire exit, don't look at it. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking suck. One casualty, zero bodies recovered, 105, oh my god. Over time, bonus 63. Profit's still pretty good though. Another important tip in this game I have to mention during this review is being able to understand and know how to use your certain equipment or anything on your ship. And it's also recommended to be able to explain this to your crew members whenever it's physically possible. I don't really fucking know how this game map works. Okay. Does it feel like it's fucking SCP whatever game? Because that has a weird, you're just fucking map generation in existence. Here, uh, I'll go back. Go for it. Oh shit, don't go there. Can you open this door? Oh, there's news. There's a what? What the fuck is that thing? What the fuck is that mouse fuck? <laughs> oh, I found the blob. Uh, it's flying behind you, it's flying behind you. I... Krogan? Rogan? You can also do a little bit of trolling in this game because after you've died, if you have enough teammates dead, they can vote to make the ship leave early resulting in whatever crew members are still alive required to immediately go to the ship or be left in the planet to die. What? <laughs> Just do it. Vote to leave early. Trust me. He's going to die. Well, that's it, Jesus, huh? Pull the lever! Howdy, boys. I got hey. absolutely wrecked by a goddamn... <laughs> Fucking creature. I got I, I got stuck in slime and then pushed basic fell into a fucking pit. Honestly, Lethal Company has to be one of the best indie games I've seen released in over the past couple of years. So usually there's been a couple of other good solo indie games, but it's very rare to come across a decent multiplayer based indie game for ten dollars, especially one that's this good. But either way, hope you all enjoyed this review regardless. This has been the Epic Gaming Guru. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my links down in the description below if you guys want to check out anything else that I do around the internet. There's plenty of stuff that I still go around and do here left and right, and let me tell you that list is never ending. But either way, hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time.